What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. We are back with another video. Now, before you do anything, go to press that like button. Go to press the subscribe button if you are new to my channel. We still trying to get 100 subs. We 10 away. So, if you're new and seeing this video, press the button for me. Now, let's get right into the gameplay. Now, as you can see, they got Curry stepping back from the logo in this clip. From the logo. Now, this is real 2K23 gameplay from NBA 2K23. Next year, now you see Curry was pulling that thing from the logo. Now you see, I don't know who was playing this game, but they got a clip of Rudy Gobert shooting the three. I'm gonna say that again. This is a clip of Rudy Gobert shooting a three. I don't know why in the world they would use Rudy Gobert to shoot a three, but I'm telling you, people be weird, but. In this clip, you can see we get a first look at the takeover. You see, we got the lockdown takeover on Michael Jordan. He does shoot a fadeaway. Now, as you can see, the green animation is delayed. Now, if you didn't really see it, look in this clip. Look. Look above his head. Look. The green animation, it barely shows up before the ball hits the rim. As soon as the ball hit the rim or get real close to the rim, that's when it decides to go in. Now, this is just another clip of Michael Jordan hitting the game winner. As you can see in this clip, you don't see no animation when you shoot the shot. I mean, you don't know if it's a white or a green. But these are the few clips I've seen on Twitter. I would like to give my credit to Jumpman Jerm. I got the clips from him. Now, Mike Wayne made a tweet and said a lot of people ask what a three-point rating is needed to be consistent in 2K23. It depends on what you consider consistent. But your shot selection and stick skills, but if you plan on shooting a lot of threes, I would personally try to go mid to high 80s at the minimum. Now, me personally, my three-pointer on my other player was an 84, so I might try to go 85. Now, he also so made another tweet and said, but some of you sweats will probably be able to get away with the high 70s. Either way, be prepared for a tougher shooting year than last year online, at least until you get your ratings up and badges equipped. So basically what he's saying is shooting going to be harder next year, but when you get all your ratings, you should be fine. Now, 2K Intel made a tweet and said you will be able to wear jerseys over compression shirts again. I'm glad. I'm going to be using that feature. I ain't had that in the game since 2K17, I think it might be 18 or 19. But someone asked Mike Wang on Twitter, are you still rewarding bad defenders for leaving their feet on pump fakes? And he did respond and he said, we made a change it to where if you bite on a pump fake, there's a cool down timer on landing doing which much easier to get blown by. So basically, if you jump on a pump fake, you're going to be stuck in the air and they're going to go right past you for an easy layup or through whatever they want to do. Now, somebody did ask him on Twitter, they said, is the builder this year on current gen allows to use sliders and physicals like next gen? Now, Mike Wayne did respond to this tweet and he also said the current gen builder was built off of 2K22 next gen's builder. So there's no more pie charts. Pie charts are gone for NBA 2K23 current gen. Now, me, I could care less about current gen. I'm a next gen player. I post next gen content. I'm not really posting current gen content ever again. I'm just going to be honest with you. My channel is strictly for next gen. If you want to go to current gen channels, look at other YouTubers. But somebody also asked him, what about making a center build that has a 75 three ball? Can it be a figure or we're going to use play shots and paint beats all over again? Now, this was really a question for current gen because on next gen, everybody can do everything. Big man can shoot, can use a 6'9 power forward. I'm going to still use my 6'9 small forward or shoot guard. It don't matter. I'm going to still be a 6'9. Y'all be look on the lookout for that video too. He said, stretch bits can be effective. 75 three point might be low for most people, but if you're really good with shot time and take wide open J's, you can be a threat. Now that's good. That means you can shoot with a 75 three ball from what he says. Now when we get our hands on the game, it'll be a different story. We'll see. It might can be a little lower. So somebody asked, can we make a point guard taller than 6'1"? And basically, will it still be able to, you know, dribble like it was last year? Now, Mike Wayne did respond to this tweet, and he did say, you can still make oversized PGs, but you have to be 6'4 to get the supposedly small guard animations. Now, me personally, I could care less about the small guard animation. Me, as long as I can be able to do what I do with the dribble moves that I got and they're not basic, 
I'm still cook up with my 6'6". Six, six. I'm telling you. Be on the lookout for my video when I release that 6'6". Six, six, Demi got him. I'm telling you. Now, somebody also asked me a question. They said, what about TakeOver? Does TakeOver work the same as last year? Will ratings fluctuate as the media increases? Are the ratings boost when TakeOver is the same as last year? And are TakeOver perks returning? Now, I hope TakeOver perks return. TakeOver perks were really good. Like, I really like that feature in Nation. I hope they bring it back. I hope it's still in the game. Like, that accelerator one, that accelerator one used to go crazy, bro. He said, yes, TakeOver is tuned differently this year. But the core of the system is still the same. Ratings drop if you go cold. Ratings rise when you get warm. You can take an extra boost intake. Takeover perks are returning. And the biggest change is the new team takeover. Now, I want to know how that new team takeover really work. I mean, I think they said on Nation, you got to do different stuff, different abilities to unlock the takeovers. I want to see how that works, too. Now, somebody also asked them, have you fixed the contestants for 2K23? Is it the same as 22 or back to its original state like 20 and 21? Now, 2K22, that contest system was crazy. That thing is terrible. I'm not going to lie. I hope they did fix it. I hope they fix it. He said the contest system was pretty different from both 20 and 21. What the game considers open versus yellow versus red contestants was similar to how it's been in the past. Now, he can say all this, but I don't really believe him until we get our hands on it and the community get our hands on it. Now, it is community that it is, so we will find out more tweets. But yeah, man, that's really it for the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you new, man, it's been your boy Grant. Go crazy, go crazy. And I'm out, man. Peace.